Matt, a defeat for our young team today, but was the aspects of that performance you were pleased with? Um, certain aspects. Look, it was a, a mismatch, a clear mismatch when you look at the, the personnel on that pitch. Um, but the lads stuck at it. Um, they, they'll take a lot from that performance, um, not in terms of the scoreline and, and certainly not in terms of the, the result, but certainly in terms of the way we want to play. Um, we weren't able to implement any part of our attacking phases onto the game because we never had the ball. Um, but in terms of the way we stuck at our task and defended our box relatively well, um, it sounds strange, but we limited them to, to four goals. And even those four goals could have been preventable. So it, in terms of playing, playing against a team with such quality and such a, a gulf in terms of standard, in terms of players, I'm actually pleased they didn't cut us open more often than they did. And if you look at obviously two of those were penalties. So from open play, it's only two goals against that strong side. Yeah, and obviously the fourth was a set piece. So it's it's it's, it's bits and pieces. Um, but that group of players will will learn a lot from that. Like I say, it's, it's a valuable ninety minutes. Um, we'd like to put a stronger team out, but we, we just couldn't on the back of the weekend um, and where the first team are or first team players are, so to speak. But the likes of Ben Seymour got some valuable game time. He's he's missed too much of pre season already, um, and we were able to get Dodds on the pitch and Jordan Dyer and, and Harry Kite again and obviously Callum Rowe so some, some pleasing aspects in relation to some individual performances certainly more so the defenders because they were defending more often than not um, but we won't judge that younger group of players because like I say they're playing against Premier League winners and international footballers so it's, it's a, a, a bit of a mismatch which we couldn't do anything about today. I'm sure he'll be disappointed to have conceded four, but Harry made some great saves as well. Yeah, he made more saves as the game went on. He started the game poorly. You'll know that in relation to the first goal and his kicking derailed off the back of it. But that's the experience of a 16-year-old kid. Um, but similar to what I mentioned with Ben Seymour, he, he had a slight thigh strain, which is why he's not had more game time with, with ourselves throughout pre-season. Um, but that was a, a game where your goalkeeper needed to play well. Um, and certainly in the second half, he made some fantastic saves. Obviously, we knew that it was going to be a young team today, but looking forward to, to Saturday, is that a real test for you, almost treating that like the first game of the season? Um, to a certain extent, there's still players who are not playing catch-up but need to get closer to the, the fitness levels of the rest of the group. So the ones we signed recently in, in Jonathan Grounds and, and obviously Tim Dieng. Um, but it, it's, it's very much a case of back at the park and getting used to those surroundings. We speak about being comfortable in our own environment um, and that's going to be absolutely key when we train at the, the park on Friday and obviously play the game there on Saturday. The only one thing we can't recreate is uh, the heat and the atmosphere of the, the first league encounter. Uh, on Tim Dieng, we did have him down to start the game and he didn't feature in the end. Did he pull out quite late yeah, there? He just had a tight calf. Um, he trained yesterday um, and it was precaution. As simple as that. Um, we expect him to train on Thursday and be involved on, on Saturday. But it was a shame because he was down for 45, you know, 45 minutes, possibly an hour at, at tops. And he's just missed that opportunity to get a step closer to where he needs to be. But it, it certainly wasn't right to risk him.